Well, hello everyone, it's Kevin here. Welcome to Mobile DJ Remastered. Today, I wanna to talk to you guys about my new speaker setup for my weddings. Now, I just recently purchased a new DJ booth and it's from Max Designs. It's called the Infinity L and it's white, it's sleek, I love it, it's very minimalistic, but also very professional looking. And I've gotten a lot of compliments already. I wanted to also do something with my speakers. I've had, um, for about two years now, I've used the JBL SRX 815Ps almost exclusively. So I would use those large speakers on tripods. And what I wanted to do was modernize my look of my speakers, but also perhaps make a little more of an adjustment to make things match with my new DJ booth as well. So after a lot of research, a lot of talking to people, a lot of experimentation also, and even seeing speakers in action, I think that's really important to actually go out and hear and see speakers perform in different scenarios and settings. Uh, when you're making a big decision like this, I went ahead and decided on the Evolve 50s from EV. Now, there's a lot of, um, I'd say, big DJs that you see big personalities using the Evolves, but there's also some uh, big personalities that say, you know, big DJ personalities that say maybe they're they're really um, not not the greatest. Maybe there are other speakers that are awesome as well. Um, and uh, so, in any case, there's a lot of information out there, one way or another. Like, oh my gosh, these Evolves are the best speakers ever. And then some say, well, you know, they aren't the best. There's other options. I agree with that second part that there are other options. And being the best, there's um, probably a lot of different factors. So I looked at a couple different factors. I looked at um, set up time, speed to set up, look and aesthetic. And also I thought, you know what, if, if I can go to an event and almost, if you can close your eyes, okay, and imagine that um, you, you're hearing a DJ uh, with, with these Evolve 50s, but you're hearing a DJ that could have two tops on tripods and a sub, if you could hear that and feel that, and people are having a great time on a dance floor, but you could, st you know, that wedding kind of balance where you need, you still need to have conversations on the outer edge. If you could achieve that, and if you could notice that, I think that's a winner. And that's what I saw with the Evolve 50s. I saw them in several different scenarios, and um, I, I just, I fell in love with them. So anyway, today I just got them. They're right here. Um, I've got my my subs. They just came. Now I also, I got the tops over here. They came a little while ago, and uh, I, you know, they came in these little uh, carry bags, and there was a, like a logistics issue, um, you know, with shipping. So I got these first, and then the subs came. So I'm gonna unbox the subs today and hook them up for the first time and check them out, and I want to show you guys. All right, let's get into this big boy. All right, so first things first, we got some marketing material up here, and these are the 50Ms, so I guess this is just a little marketing thing. Um, get a little instruction booklet. Nice. Okay, we'll look at that later. All right, got some power plug. There's two. Okay, European standard and normal IEC to wall outlet for the states here. All right, and package nice and good. I can see the white right here. I don't know if you can see that, but here's the white. I'm getting excited. So it's pretty well. Supported here. All 
right. <laughs> there it is. Pretty cool. You have the front here, obviously, and I'm holding it up just to show that this actually is, it's pretty light. Lightweight, it's got nice handles on the sides. One on top. Here's the mixer. We'll look at that a little later. But yeah, let's get the tops on this. Kind of see, they just kind of sit in here in this bag. Some fold, fold it in here, uh, little dividers. Oh, that goes in real nice. There's some magnets on here. I don't know if you can see. Little magnets on top. Boom. And here it is. The Evolve 50 in white. Boom, and there they are. Both of them side by side. They look oh, really nice. Um, they're perfectly, I mean, I like the height. You can kind of see. So I'm 5'11". So about, I don't know, a little bit, uh, about a foot taller than me, I guess. Um, that's going to help, obviously, with projecting sound out into the crowd and out into my, uh, my audience. And then I love this. So these are drivers that are pointed at an angle down. So that kind of line array effect where we're gonna we're gonna have sound projecting downward, that'll be helpful if I'm on a stage or um, you know for folks that are closer up. All right, I'm loving the look of these guys. I think it's gonna look really really good with my DJ booth. And um, here I'm gonna go ahead and plug one of these guys in and see what it sounds like first time. I'm excited. All right, y'all, this is my very first trial here, turning this on, thing on. I didn't even EQ anything. There's a bunch of settings on the mixer. Let me just show you what I did. I literally hooked up my laptop on a little table here. Don't tell my wife I put her flowers over in the corner and <laughs> stole her flower table for a second. And I literally turned it on. It came on here with um, push to unlock. Got this volume control. Okay. I didn't touch anything else. Plugged it in line one. Um, I don't even know all the features yet, but um, hopefully this is going to sound okay. I've got a song queued up, and I'm just coming out of my external headphones directly into um, input one of this guy. Let's put you guys back up here. And let's try this out, okay? Now, this is just one speaker. So I don't know how this is going to sound. Okay, so I'm hearing the bass response is pretty good. That sounds really, really good. I mean, like I'm hearing a full spectrum of sound. So, 
I think that sounded amazing. Okay. So first off, I, uh, I'm just here obviously in my little, uh, you know, office area for a, and, um, I didn't really have it up too loud, but it sounded really good, like crystal clear. And I don't know how it's going to sound on here. Um, you know, on the phone, you never really pick up all the, the same fidelity on a, on a little phone microphone. But what I heard was like this, uh, very, and this is just one speaker, by the way. It sounded like, it sounds weird, but it sounded like it was almost stereo. And maybe it's just a configuration of my walls here and things are bouncing around a little bit. But it sounded really en enveloping. I don't know if that's a, a good word to describe it. Anyway, I, I was pretty impressed um, that in that bass, I think that would be perfect. I mean, I've, I've seen my, I've, I've seen this same model of speaker at receptions and other events. And I was really impressed with the bass. I felt like it was enough. It was really, it felt good, especially for, uh, you know, a typical wedding crowd. Um, now, <laughs> I know that there's a lot of, I don't want to say controversy, but a lot of opinion out there that says, you know, if you've got a large group of people, like let's say we're talking 200 people, 250, 300, or you've got a room with really high ceilings or really big space, big dance floor, and you've got a throw sound, um, it kind of depends, you know, like what you're going to design, what you're going to bring to uh, that kind of environment for, you know, the audio challenges that you're presented with. So, for example, um, I think a typical barn wedding that I do here in the Midwest or a typical venue wedding that I would do, um, I think these are going to be so perfect for it. I mean, I, I, I've seen them, as I mentioned, but also, you know, seeing them in action is good, but also just hearing them just now, like, right out of the box they're perfect i didn't EQ them i didn't touch the bass or the treble or mess with the mids or mess with the i know there's like i've read that there's like club mode there's like you know different modes of eq that you can set on these on these things on the back on their dsp haven't touched them yet so i'm thinking i'm gonna have a blast playing along playing around with these things um but yeah there they are and what i'm excited to do is get my controller out and actually have you know an actual source, a mixer source, plug them both in. And what, what seems to be great is, it looks like I've got combo jacks for days, okay? And outputs, of course. And I believe there's a way to hook these together. Um, not 100% sure, but um, there's also, um, you know, some other things like Bluetooth and other things that I just, I just haven't, you know, played with yet or messed around with yet. I don't know if I'll use that. It might be that these become a good backup, you know, I don't know, for a ceremony or, you know, just for a house party, you know, just bring in one or like a little event and you can just Bluetooth to it. Now, I don't like the DJ with Bluetooth, so it'd have to be like something where I'm just, you know, playing a playlist or something and I'm not, D you know, doing an actual DJ set. Um, I hate that delay that Bluetooth injects, but anyway... Guys, these are my EVs, my new EVs for my wedding setup, and I'm gonna have some fun with these. So look forward to future videos, gig logs, that kind of thing, where I'll put these out to the test, get them out in the real world, and see what they can do, okay guys? Hey, listen, thank you so much for joining me on my channel, and if you haven't already, please subscribe. We'll be putting out stuff like this, gig logs, educational videos, tips and tricks, all kinds of good stuff. Guys, thank you so much for joining me. Take care, and I'll talk to you next time. Oh,